we got the coke and today we are checking out the giant mouse ace grand let's get it waiting for you you were always taking time baby playing with you guys welcome back to everyday minimalist my name is brandon and today we are checking out the giant mouse ace grand holy crap has this thing taken the edc community by storm and there's a lot of reasons for that we will go through all that stuff here in this video so i've been carrying this knife for about a month now and i think i'm ready to give you guys my full impressions now there's already a lot of videos out there going over the technical specifications and details with the ace grand guys i will leave in the description below all the technical specifications specifications as well as the materials used you guys can check that out i just really want to get right into this knife so as you can tell we went with the green canvas micarta version and it is absolutely amazing the ergonomics that come with this knife are fantastic if you guys know who Jesper Voxnez is or Vox Design, then you know that the knife that you're wielding is gonna be really good and it feels amazing in the hand. As you can tell, I can fit all of my fingers around the scale and it works out really well. On top of that, the jimping built into the blade here at the top is just fantastic. It really helps when you wanna get into your cuts and have that control. I've been using this knife to do a lot of box processing, cutting zip ties and rope at work. It's been really really able to hold up to all the tasks that I've put it through. And I can proudly say that this is now my beater knife, the ultimate beater knife so far. In terms of the actual build quality coming from this knife, there is one negative that I have experienced. When I first unboxed this knife, I went to flip it and it flipped out really good, but when I went to close it, the lock bar was very, very tight. So it had a lot of lock bar stick. Another thing is the access to the lock bar. I wish that they kind of notched it out a little bit more here on the front show side scale so that way you had a little bit better access to that lock bar. So what I did is I contacted my buddies there on Instagram. I'm in a group there. Asked the guys like, hey, what should I do? How can I fix this lock stick issue? And basically what they said is use a mechanical pencil or Sharpie and mark up the actual blade stock where it comes in contact with the lock bar. So this little area here and it pretty much fixed it on spot, which I was really surprised. My boy MB Wild on Instagram, this guy knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, guys, go follow him on Instagram. He's one of my good friends. He's pretty much kind of coursed me through all of the Italian knives and European knives in general. In that same group, he highly recommended to get the Ace Grand and a few of my other buddies did as well. And I was really happy with the purchase after I got that fixed. You've got this hole cut out on the blade like a spidey hole and you can easily easily do a reverse flick. You can also do a thumb flick. It's a little bit more difficult than having a thumb stud there. So I found myself doing a spidey flick most of the time to get this thing deployed. It's operating off of bearings, so it is very, very drop shut friendly. So besides that, there's not really a ton of negatives I have with this knife. It suited pretty much any EDC task that I had. Um, it is a larger knife, but it actually feels a little bit smaller than a full size knife in hand. To give you guys a quick example, here is the Benchmade Bug Out next to the Giant Mouse Ace Grand. And as you can tell, it is gonna be much bigger in terms of length than the Bug Out. It's gonna be a lot heftier, more of a bruiser style knife. And I think that's exactly what Giant Mouse is going for, is something that's gonna be to pierce anything you could put it through some pretty heavy tasks and then still keep cutting after that now let's get to the pocket clip so if you guys know me i am huge on the pocket clip like if it doesn't work then it doesn't work and i hate the knife and i probably will never pick it up or if they sell an aftermarket version i will throw that on to the knife itself now i actually decided to stick with the stock pocket clip this is a wire style pocket clip and it is ambidextrous the cool thing about this is it actually sits really really deep within your pocket like literally all the way up until the scale stops on top of that the pocket clip has really good tension i mean it is a little bit tighter than what i like but it's within that range of like okay i can put this in my pocket with having no issues again i wear a lot of basketball slash sweat shorts so this really does work out for me personally i love the fact that they actually put the lanyard hole with this titanium backspacer 
in front of the pocket clip so that way it does not get in the way and push the pocket clip more forward so this is a true deep carry pocket clip but yeah guys this is a fantastic knife is it worth 180 dollars absolutely you should definitely spend your money on this knife if you're looking for just a ginormous bruiser type of knife something that you can beat on on a daily basis if you're using it in hefty tasks this thing is perfect even if you're wearing gloves i think you would have a really solid grip with this knife aesthetically it looks great as you can tell there's not a ton of branding on the show side and then you've got the ace logo there on the locking side they actually really put like a hidden easter egg i don't know if it's an easter egg but they put some branding here on the inside of the show side liner with the vox logo you've got the giant mouse logo the type of steel that this knife has as well as where it's made in italy when i was taking this thing apart for the first time i thought that was just pretty sweet that they just kind of hid it away you know we're everyday minimalists again guys i like it when they keep it as sterile as possible and uh this does it the ace grand is probably going to fit in there with my top five knives of 2020 not sure where it's going to go in the lineup from one to five but it is going to be there i've got a couple other knives that are in the runner-up positions and i still need to decide which one fits where but once that's done guys keep an eye out for that video and just to kind of give you guys a quick sneak peek because this is a vox design here is the vox f 5.5 oh my goodness this knife is just so good it is so damn good that oh man yeah just wait for the review to come out for this one i'll probably post up a review next week just because i've already decided this is one of my favorite knives of all time um just to give that away but anyways there is the giant mouse ace grand a pretty sweet knife go grab one if you can if you guys enjoyed this edc slash knife content go ahead throw me a thumbs up if you dislike to throw me a thumbs down and i promise to you i will do better next time thank you guys so much for dropping by cheers to 2021 and we'll catch you on the next one peace out